Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this, and share these videos with anyone else studying for the CCNA. In this lab, we will configure ACLs, named ACLs and numbered ACLs, standard ACLs and extended ACLs, as well as IPv4 ACLs and IPv6 ACLs, mixing them all together. Let's get started. So we have to configure and apply a total of four ACLs to filter traffic according to these instructions. The details of how you configure and where you apply the ACLs doesn't have to exactly match what I do in this video. As long as the results are the same, it's okay. The first ACL we must configure should prevent PC4 from accessing the 10.4.4.0/24 network. The general rule is to apply standard ACLs close to the destination. So I'll apply it to R2's G00 interface. Let's go on R2. Enable, conf t. Let's create a deny statement blocking PC4. Access list. I'll make it number one, deny host, and PC4 is 10.2.2.12. Okay, that's all for that statement. Now, we aren't told to block other traffic to 10.4.4.0/24, so we should let it through. Access list one, permit any. That's it. Now let's apply it to the interface. Interface G00, IP access group 1, out. I used out because I want to prevent PC4's traffic from exiting out this interface to the 10.4.4.0 slash 24 subnet. Let's test it. I'll try a ping from PC4 to server 1. Ping 10.4.4.100. And we get the destination host unreachable message from 10.12.12.2, which is R2. Perfect. Just to make sure, let's try a ping from PC3, which should go through. Ping 4.4.100. Great, it works. Our first ACL is complete. Okay, let's do the second one. Configure an IPv6 ACL to prevent PC5 from accessing the 2001 DB8 22 slash 64 network. So this will be an IPv6 ACL, and IPv6 only supports named ACLs, although IPv4 supports both numbered and named ACLs. I'll apply it to R1's G02 interface. Let's go on R1. Enable, conf t. Since it's an IPv6 ACL, start the command with IPv6 access list, then the name. I'll say g02 underscore in to give it a meaningful name. Now we're in IPv6 ACL configuration mode and can configure each statement. So we want to deny PC5 and then permit other traffic. Deny IPv6 host followed by PC5's address 2001 db8 3 3 double colon 11. Then the destination subnet, 2001 db8 22 22 slash 64. Okay, that's our deny statement. Now let's allow all other IPv6 traffic through. Permit IPv6 any any. Okay, finally, let's apply it. Interface G02, IPv6 traffic filter G02 in. Now you might want to apply this with IPv6 access group since IPv4 uses IP access group, but for IPv6 use IPv6 traffic filter. Okay, let's test. I'll ping from PC5 to server 2. 
ping 2001 DB8 2222 double colon 100. And we get the destination host unreachable message from R1. Looks good. Now just to be sure, let's try on PC6, which should work. Ping 2001 DB8 22 22 double colon 100. Great, it works as expected. Next is to prevent PC3 from reaching PC1. It should be an extended named ACL. And let's put it on R1's G01 interface. Exit. IP access list extended. This time I'll name it G01 underscore in. Let's make the deny statement. Deny IP host 10.2.2.11 host 10.1.1.11. Now let's permit other traffic since we weren't told to block anything else. Permit IP any any. Now let's apply it. Interface G01. This is an IPv4 ACL, so IP access group G01 underscore in, in. Okay, let's try it out. I'll ping from PC3 to PC1. Ping 10.1.1.11. And we get the destination host unreachable message. Uh, how about from PC4? Ping 10.1.1.11. Okay, it works as expected. Finally, we want to allow PC6 to telnet to R2, but to not allow others to do so. So we could apply this in multiple areas, but how about applying it directly to R2's VTY lines? Let's go on R2. Exit. First, I'll make the ACL. IPv6 access list telnet to give it an appropriate name. So let's permit PC6 to Telnet. Permit TCP, because Telnet uses TCP, host 2001 DB8 33 double colon 12. I'll set the destination to any, since I want it to apply to whichever of R2's interfaces they Telnet to. Then finally, EQ Telnet to specify the port number of 23, which Telnet uses. Okay, that's all we have to configure because there is an implicit deny any at the end of the ACL, so we don't need to configure another statement. Let's apply it to the VTY lines. Line VTY 015. To apply an IPv4 ACL to an interface, use access group for IPv6, traffic filter. Now to apply either to VTY lines, you use access class. So IPv6 access class, telnet in. Okay, let's test it out. I'll try to telnet to R2's G000 interface from PC6. Telnet 2001, DB8, 12, 12, double colon two. Looks good, enter the password, CCNA in lowercase, and there we go, exit. Okay, let's confirm that PC5 can't telnet to R2. Telnet 2001, DB8, 12, 12, double colon two. Great, looks like we successfully configured and applied the ACL. In this lab, we configured multiple types of ACLs, IPv6 ACLs, as well as standard and extended IPv4 ACLs using numbered and named methods. This was mostly review from what we did in the ICND1 labs, but hopefully it was good practice. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you.
Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comments section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.